Uh, Mike Reynolds is a, a driven person, entrepreneur, uh, hard worker, just a grinder, man. You know, I grind all the time. You know, uh, just got to be out here and uh, get it and uh, how I can get it. Like I say, you know, Mike Reynolds is a... Uh... Wow, that, that's... that's You caught me on that one. Mike Reynolds. Woo! Who is Mike Reynolds? Mike Reynolds is uh, an enigma. That's what Mike Reynolds is. He's an enigma. Uh, the mystery man, you know... Uh, I don't uh, like to take credit for a lot of things. I like to stay in the background. But, um, you know, uh, I just like to do what I do and uh, just um, get things to happen and uh, just be grinding. Like I said, and just, it's about the paper. It's, it's about the, the chase, man, the grind. Why did you start Mastermind? Uh, Mastermind Sports Entertainment, uh, that came about because uh, I have a sports show on Blog Talk Radio, and I started that. And I pretty much got deep into that, and then I got asked to be a, um, a co-host, a contributor to another uh, talk show called Talking Smooth Jazz. So I decided to make uh, Mastermind Sports and Entertainment, and also I'm a boxing manager too. I have a boxer named Maurice Byram. So you guys check out Maurice. Maurice just had a fight um, this past Thursday. It was a third round knockout. Beautiful. Like I said, um, it was just a, it was a thought. Like I said, I, it was. The base of my operations is JMT Enterprises, LLC. And uh, like I said, I just decided to, uh, you know, go with uh, Sports and Entertainment Company. I love uh, music and I love sports and uh, sports and entertainment. So, and I am the mastermind, basically. So maybe I need to change my name to the mastermind. You know, maybe the master. Was, was, I mean, is that cool for y'all? The mastermind? Do I be, instead of being Mike, we're not going to be the mastermind now. Maybe, maybe we can go with that. So, you know, hey. What decided you wanted to be an entrepreneur? Uh, when I was working, I got my ass fired. <laughs> when I got fired from a job, when they when they let me go, I said, "Hey, I got to do something." So I had to go out here and, and do something, man. Like I said, once once they gave me the axe, whew, you know, it was it, man. So I had to come out here and do my thing. And I, like I said, I've been grinding ever since. Like I said, you know, sometimes um, your darkest day, you know, it's not really your darkest day. It's it's a it's a chance to uh, look at things in a different light. And like I said, that may be is is basically a new beginning. So that's what I, I seen it as a new beginning. When I said I got fired, I decided to become an entrepreneur. What do you see yourself in five years? Oh, in five years. Uh, five years, what do I see myself in five years? I don't know, man. I see myself in five years, like I said, uh, still out here grinding. I see myself uh, maybe uh, have my own show. So Hollywood, give me my own show. Have my own show out there and everything. Um, five years, like I said, I, I want to kind of help out a lot of... Uh, People, man, I, you know, that's my thing is to contribute back and give back to people. Like I said, uh, we do the Talking Smooth Jazz for the um, independent artists and how we do, you know, uh, we know a lot of these people not getting exposure, a lot of these people not getting noticed, and these people have been grinding for years out here doing their thing. Uh, so we want to get them. I want to help people out like that as far as small businesses too. Uh, like I want to take this Daily Grind vlog and go out to some of the small businesses out in uh, Prince George's County or within the state of Maryland and try to interview these people and, and get their business some exposure and some notice and hopefully help them out because like right now it's bad times and like I said uh, right now people need help so I'm, that's what I'm here for to help man I'm, you know, I'm not here to um, get it all or take it all I'm here to help other people too so whatever I can do to help you guys let me know hit me up I'll come out we can spotlight your business whatever I'm always here to help and I'm always supportive of anything positive so whatever's positive you know I'm a positive person what do you have planned coming up what do I have planned coming up well uh, Right now, like I said, uh, we're still trying to, we're getting more boxing ma matches for my man Maurice Byron. He's going to be fighting on May 29th up in Baltimore. Details to come. And uh, coming up, what else we got? Uh, like I said, Talking Smooth Jazz. We got some big things lined up. I'm currently out looking for some venues to try to host some events and to try to bring some um, smooth jazz and um, some good entertainment for uh, people that are 35 and over to the uh, Prince George's County area of uh, Maryland, the state of Maryland. I want to, you know, let people have a good time, man. Uh, that's my thing. Is have a good time and a good vibe and, uh, you know, things like that. So coming up, uh, we, we got some big things. And, and then on the grind, like I said, we're going to be grinding, doing the vlog. We got the uh, the Bomb Squad. The Bomb Squad, we're going to do that. We're doing that right there. I want to give a shout out to Kato Hammond. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of the uh, Bomb Squad. So uh, that's all the projects I have. The boxing, Toggy Smooth Jazz, with the things we're trying to do with that. We're going to take that to another level. And this Bomb Squad, like I said, uh, with, uh, that's about it, man.
Yeah, yeah.